few short years ago, bands of wild horses roamed the hills and plains of the American West. Unbroken and unbranded, they represented money on the hoof to any rider who could put them under fence. Horse ranches were flourishing enterprises, and as the market grew, rival breeders imported blooded stock to cross with a rugged western strain. Outlaw was one of these. A black stallion turned renegade, he ranged the country with his band, a plague to the ranchers whose fences he disregarded and whose herds he plundered. A challenge to any wild horse hunter who tried to put a rope on him. Gate pulls rock. Well, it just about does it. Yeah. What's the matter? Don't you like being a landowner? Personally, I think we ought to go back to just breaking horses. Look, you can do one of two things. Work for somebody else all your life or work for yourself. I'm tired of working for somebody else. At least you get paid for it. Well, the next thing we have to do is cut some poles for the fence. What do we need a fence for? We haven't got anything on this place but jackrabbits. You're forgetting that black stallion we ran into the other day, aren't you? Heck no. But supposing he already belongs to someone else. If he did, they wouldn't be letting him run loose. Well, when can we go after him? As soon as we finish cutting the fence posts. You're a cutie, but he won't win any blue ribbons. Well, there's a law of nature that says you can't beat a birdie horse and come up with a derby winner. There's also a law of economics that says you can't buy blooded stock without any money. So where does that leave us? Well, I can either start stealing horses or change over and start raising burros. Well, wait till Outlaw comes back. Honey, that black stallion's built along the lines of an escape convict. Mentally, that is. He just don't like being cooped up anywhere. I could make him like it. Yeah, if you keep him locked up long enough. The mistake you made was thinking of his cues to teach him how to open gates when he was at the cold. I taught him a lot of other things, Uncle Ben. That's why I'm sure he'll come back. Yeah. Father saw him last night. Why didn't you tell me? Well, he was running with the herd and it was almost dark. Besides, I wasn't sure it was him. I didn't want to get your hopes up. Then he's back. Now I'll get him, Uncle Ben. I wouldn't want to go without eating until you do. <laughs> Good boy, outlaw. 
Easy now. Easy, boy. It's about time you came back. You can trust me, remember? Come on, Outlaw, let's go home. You might as well make up your mind. Your roping days are over. I'll get you back. He remembers me, Doc. Yeah, it seems like he remembers what it's like to be pinned up, too. He'll get used to it. You want to come along? Where? I'm going to get him back. Ah, uh, I'd as soon go bear hunting with a willow switch. He's not that vicious. Oh, no? Last time he kicked me, he wasn't trying to shake hands. If you won't come, I guess I'll have to do it alone. No, you won't. There's nobody alive going to run that horse down single-handed. Did you happen to notice whose brand those other mares are wearing? Why? Well, the owner will be looking for them. Thought you could go with them. No, I couldn't. They belong to Harry Jennings. And you know what he'll do when he finds out who stole them. <laughs> he can't hang a horse. He can steal him. If you ask him nicely, he won't. I asked him nicely to do something once, and he took it for an invitation to raffle. Oh, well, you didn't tell me that. I didn't think it was that important. Well, if he ever tries it again... He won't. I still think I can catch out there alone. Look, honey, you're my only niece, and I'd kind of like to keep you around. Call it off until you can get somebody to help you, will you? This gate got open, Mr. Jennings. It was shut tight yesterday when I was riding fence. Somebody opened it. Let's find out who. Morning. Sort of like the range, aren't you, Jennings? Looking for horses. Somebody ran off a herd of brood mares I had in the upper pasture. Oh, the same thief that got away with two of ours. You got any ideas? All the people I know around here are honest. That's what I thought. Looks like we both might be wrong. Well, if I find yours, I'll bring them back. Thanks. I thought I brought you up better. What did I do? Well, I never heard that telling lies is one of the prime virtues. I didn't lie to him. I just told him that all the people I know around here are honest. It's not my fault if he thinks the horse thief has only two legs. gonna be a hard one to catch. Not very. Got something in mind? Yeah, let's go down and round up those mares and put them in our corral. I thought you wanted the black. I do. Then why bother those range mares? Well, horses are pretty much like human beings in a way. When a female's concerned, they haven't any more sense than we have. All we have to do is round up his harem and wait till he comes looking for them. Yesterday, we only had two horses. Look at us now. How much do you think they'll bring, Rod? Plenty, if we wanted to sell them. Well, what are you going to do, turn them loose? Keep them and breed them. I've always wanted to own a horse ranch. Now it looks like I got her made. Sounds like a lot of hard work to me. Oh, there's nothing to it. All you have to do is get up before daylight and work until it's too dark to see. Pitching hay, digging post holes, stringing wire, and... I wouldn't worry too much about stringing wire because you won't live that long. Get the gun, Sue. Now, wait a minute. Take it easy, Kai. You want to get a shot? Now that you got our guns, would you mind telling us what this is all about? We don't like horse thieves. Never cared too much about them myself. Maybe you can explain what my horses are doing in that corral. They were running with a wild bunch. I haven't got around to cutting out the branded ones yet. <laughs> you hear that, boys? 
I keep those brood mares on the fence. They didn't open that gate and run off all by themselves. That's a two gray from the Spain spread in that Bay of Masons. Maybe they let themselves out, too. It's like these gentlemen think we stole their horses. What would you think? You gotta admit, it looks sad. You wouldn't want to just cut your stock out of this bunch and go on home, would you? No, I didn't think you would. Let's string them up. I'll get the rope. Never mind the rope. Tie them up. Take them in the town. Back those two graves you lost. Thanks. Where'd you find them? In a corral where these two horse thieves had them pinned up along with mine. You keep calling us horse thieves, you're gonna hurt my feelings. Ah, shut up. I don't like your attitude either. What's going on here? We picked up a couple of wrestlers, Mr. Spain. Well, I like that word better than thieves. We're taking them into town. As long as they sold some of yours, the sheriff will want you as a witness. There's only one trouble. They didn't steal any. That's what I kept telling them all afternoon. They're trying to hang two innocent men. Innocent? You get caught with 20 head of stolen horses and you claim you're innocent. You haven't proved us guilty. I got all the proof I need. Coming with us or not? Don't get your shirt in the knot. They ought to have a chance to defend themselves. Who are you? Dale Rockwell, my partner, Ty Taylor. A homestead in two sections down on Sand Creek. We figured on talking it was wild horses only. It turned out they weren't all wild. Did you get the black stallion? No, but I almost did. He's mine. You remember my cold outlaw, Mr. Jennings? He's your horse thief. I saw him take my mare. I chased him and saw him with yours. I remember him. I also remember meeting you yesterday and asking you if you'd seen any stock of mine. You said you hadn't. I said no such thing. Let these men go. Hold on. This is something for the sheriff to decide. Go get him. Before you go, there's a little matter of some wild horses that belong to me and Ty. You're not taking them. I'll leave the whole lot here. If you're what you say you are, you can keep the unbranded ones. Senorita, the nice boy. Can I bring him some little things to eat? Bring them both some little things. I had no idea how much trouble you could get into stealing horses. You didn't steal them. That rope around your neck probably feel the same either way. If you hadn't thought up that tall tale about a thieving stallion. Yes, ma'am, we both owe you a vote of thanks for that. Why should I lie to save you? Could be you want something done. Of all the ungrateful impossible... Lock him in the barn, Doc. I'd say I upset her. I'd say you misjudged her. Well... After we put the stock in the corral, me and the boys are going after that black stallion. You mean she wasn't lying? She don't lie. I have that much to say for her. It's her horse. Where do you cut in on it if you do catch him? No trick to hide a horse out in this country. After we have enough coast time, we'll have the best breed of horses in the Southwest. Where do you figure to start looking for him? Let him come to us. Cut out four or five of those mares and we'll hold them in Rockwell's corral. That big black will come looking for him. friend of some hay needs pitching. Get up, Brock. Mm -hmm. What for? Lady says we gotta pitch some hay. Where's the fork, ma'am? Am I hearing things or did the boy ask for a pitchfork? Come on, give me a hand and lay off that boy stuff. I'm a prisoner. Why should I pitch hay? Your horses are hungry, that's why. No, they're not mine yet. They will be, thanks to me. Let's wait and make sure, shall we? Can you get him out of there? Uh, I'd rather have you do it. All right. Anyone ever tell you you'd make a good trail boss? I wouldn't. I don't like saddle tramps. Doc, keep an eye on him. Is she always like that? Oh, she has spells of acting like a human being. Not very often, though. No. Nope. You been working here long? Yep. You must need a job real bad to put up with that. Well, I've thought of quitting several times. Trouble is, I just don't know how to go about it. Well, just walk up to her. Ask her for your time. Oh, but it ain't that sort of a job. You see, I'm her uncle. Well, you don't have to let that stop. Her uncle? Oh, well, I didn't mean... Oh, you don't have to apologize for telling the truth. There's your fork over there. I could have gotten up without this ladder. That's what the ladder's for. Miss Spain, I'm not a saddle tramp. That wasn't aimed at you. He's not either. How long have you known him? Ever since I was 12. We ran into each other in a saloon over in Abilene. Saloon? I was just working there, sweeping it out. Rock took a shine to me because I clunked one of the men he was fighting with over the head with a bottle. Best thing could ever happen to me. Saloon's no place for a kid to grow up in. It's not the best place I can think of. I can't imagine your folks letting you work there. Both being dead, there wasn't much they could do about it. Rock did a pretty good job of taking care of me, though, as long as I needed taken care of. Of course, it wasn't like having your own family. I know, I lost mine, too. Where's that hay? 
Coming up. You sure did a good job raising yourself. Know something, Rock? Me and her are both orphans. Here he comes. Mr. Rockwell, Mr. Taylor. Howdy. I understand you boys got in a little trouble over some horses. Well, I like to think of it as more of a misunderstanding. You can stop worrying. Miss Payne told me what happened. You're free to go where you want. Thanks, Sheriff. I'm not the one you ought to thank. Supper's almost ready if you'd like to stay. I'd like to, Miss Payne, but I'd best be getting back to town. I might have had it with a stallion and not you. I don't like hanging. Who does? Good day. You'll stay for supper, won't you? Well, sure I... will. Doc. That black devil jumped the fence we were fixing and it killed him. It almost got me too. Go put a bullet in him, Bart. You'll find him in Bright's Meadow up by Echo Canyon. Nobody's shooting a horse of mine. Take a look at what he's done to Jim Graves. I'm sorry about Jim. But killing Outlaw won't help anything. How about it, Bart? He's gonna die. Ain't that right? I'm not just sure. I never had a case like this before. What was he doing trying to catch a horse that knew belonged to me? Your brand's not on him. You and everyone else around here know he's mine. Especially you. You tried to buy him and I outbid you. I still have the bill of sale. Would you like to see it? There's no question who owns Outlaw, but it's dangerous to have a killer horse running free. He's not a killer. If you don't shoot him, I will. I don't think you ought to do that. What business is this of yours? Seeing as how he and you almost got me hanged, I got sort of a personal interest in it. I've known a lot of men to get hurt running wild horses. That's true. Instead of going off half cocked, you might give Miss Payne a chance to prove her horse isn't all bad. Give her some time to catch him and break him. I'll go along with that. How much time? Oh, I don't figure you'd kill many people in a week. Especially if they left him alone. I'm in favor of killing him right now. Well, there may be some people feel that way about you. How about it, Sheriff? Sounds real fair to me. Thanks, Mr. Whitney. The fact is, I couldn't shoot a horse unless his leg was broke. But I'll have to ask someone else to, in case you fail. You won't have to ask anybody. I'll be glad to do it. Well, looks like we still got a horse. For another week, anyway. It's my turn to thank you. You haven't caught him yet. That'll be a tough job. Putting a saddle on him even tougher. I'll do it. That's no job for a woman. If I were you, I'd start looking around for a man. Meaning you? No. We got a homestead defense. Horses of our own to break. But if you feel... I'm sure I can manage it without your help. Uh, you can't drive those horses at night. Stay here and get started in the morning. I thought we was partners. We are. Well, how come you answer for me? Maybe it's because I don't want to lose you till I get my money's worth. You know, you've been in a lot of trouble. If she asks me to help her, I'm going to. She won't. She's out to prove she's as good or better than a man. 
What's wrong with that? Nothing, if you don't have to live around it. You better go wash your hands and face. Two, fifteen, four, and a pair of six. Did you bring her up? Quite a handful, wasn't she? Well, still is. A little bit if she runs into somebody stronger will than she is. She's run into him. That horse of hers. Oh, well, don't be too sure about that. She'll get him back and break him one way or another. My dear, if you think for one minute that you're going to break up this game before I beat him, you've got another thing coming. You're spoiling a good hand. Oh, and you're spoiling a good game. Go out and look at the moon. I was just trying to help him. Get some sleep. What do you mean, finally? Well, about 10 o'clock, you were plenty wide awake. You're supposed to be keeping an eye on the horses, not on me. I ran out of tobacco and had to go borrow something from Doc. Drop me out around four. Aren't you going to ask me what we talked about? I can guess.
sure you feel all right? Yeah, I guess so. I wasn't asleep, Rock. Who said you were? I sure laid one on you. Yeah, and I saw one of them, too. It was two. Hey, did they get out, Law? No, but they turned them loose. You better take a look at them, Doc. Come over the campfire. Well, I guess that washes it up. Why? If Jennings wants help, Law, bad enough to start shooting at people, he can have him. I thought you wanted him pretty bad yourself. Not if somebody's gonna get killed. If anybody gets killed, it's gonna be somebody on the other side. You better get some sleep. We got a lot of work to do tomorrow. Way, all right. Where do you think he's heading? Echo Canyon. You enter from the left end of the valley. The Indians call it the Canyon of a Thousand Voices, with reason. One rifle shot sounds like a thousand. There's a big spring halfway in where it gets so narrow you can barely ride a horse through. Can you get in from either end? Mm-hmm. How do you get to the far end? You follow this ridge, and there you are, looking straight down at it. Then you turn around and come back. No way down? Yeah, if you're a mountain goat. Give me an hour and then start looking. He's down there somewhere. When you sight him, find One word from you would change his mind. I got a feeling he'll be back. Doc, would you get the saddle? Are you going to fish him off? I'm going to try. Glad you made it a short trip. I made a fool of myself, didn't I? Don't take all the credit. Remember, I helped a little. I didn't want to leave, Rock. I never thought you did. You want to finish breaking the black one? Nope. Not ready for him. Bones are too green. <laughs> You are, aren't you? 
Bye.